okay? Protests are still real. We are out here in these streets. And uh, people are nasty. People ain't washing their hands. I don't know why it's a new phenomenon, but stay clean. Wash your hands, wear your mask, wear goggles while you out in these streets. Let's get it together, y'all. We're trying to get back to whatever this new normal is meant to be. Anyway, so today... Today I got some news stories for you guys, let you know what's been going on in uh, some of the cases that we heard about over the weekend, Rashard Brooks, um, what's happening in Atlanta, protests over that, also some protests in Clayton County um, over these five teenagers. Did y'all hear that, that story? Absolutely crazy. Um, thank God for the ability to just, you know, record shit. Because we need that. So, um, talking a little bit about that and uh, what's going on in Tulsa this weekend with the, the president, with y'all president, with whatever we call that, man, we, we, 45. What's going on with him and uh, what's going on with this corona? Got all of that. Um, for a lot of people, I've had a zillion phone calls, texts, emails about my announcement yesterday. Um, my heart is clear. My soul is happy. I think you can see my smile. It comes from so deep within. Uh, I'm in such a good place. And uh, life is good. Thank you, everybody, for all the well wishes. Somehow, I lost over 100,000 followers in the last, like, four weeks, right? Just avidly po posting about the protests, the injustice, my trans friends and community gay, lesbian, Latino, indigenous uh, people of America, Native Americans, like just call them ham, turkey, and cheese, right? So obviously a lot of people don't want to see that. So I ended up looking up and realized I had lost like over 100,000 followers. And that did not discourage me from posting. I'm still going to post. I'm still going to be me. I'm a sunflower. Like it or not, we will rise. So I've been posting, doing my thing. I just forgot about it. And my homegirl, Cynthia, hit me up yesterday like, girl, how you make four million? And I was like, bitch, what you talking about? And I looked up and I realized that on Instagram I made four million. So not only had I lost a hundred and thousand plus before and i was at three million and change i bumped all the way up to over four million now so thank you thank you thank you it's definitely y'all that's listening to me in the morning rant and rave about the crazy world and news and listening to my very earthy and hippie uh and spiritual ideas of what this beautiful life is and can be so thank you for your love and for your support and um i just wanted to drop a line i'm not doing any uh, official interviews and stuff i've been hit up by literally every news outlet don't really have anything to say. I made my statement through my representatives and my attorney, my husband. Um, but yeah, I'm happy and I'm spreading love and I'm spreading joy. I see my girl, Sarah Principal, on here. Let me tell y'all something a little bit about this lady. So I met this lady on Instagram because she has the most amazing positive quotes. She is a life coach and a motivational being in this world and she is somebody who stands in solidarity with injustice across the board she does not shy from talking about it posting about it and she's always taking appointments so if you find yourself like me like real pissed off and ready to cuss the whole world out but the world don't need it call her hit her up let her know because she will talk to you i see my girl Kristen. Krista. What's up, girl? You texted me the other day um, i gonna hit you back a little bit but i love you i miss you when i come to new york I'm good. I'm ready to rock and roll. When I come to New York, I'm going to come see you, Krista. But I ain't fucking in New York right now because it's too small and everybody's sick. So when you come down to the A, come play with me at the new crib. And, uh, yeah. The reason why I'm just chatting is because the music is playing. We got uh, Janet and Jackson in the background. And they're going to play my intro music. And then I'm going to do my news. And if you haven't noticed... I went ahead and mommy you guys my mommy is here y'all give some love to my mama glam my pig freak that's my baby I am the woman all the good things that I am I am because of her the bad shit I picked some of that stuff up along the way and that ain't her fault but all my goodness that's my mama shout out to glam my pig freak my brother down there swole as shit taking up all the living room most likely trying to figure out where he gonna go work out at next um, so yeah, I'm gonna do my last news hit and then hang out with my family and get ready for, well, New York is too small, like, to be sick. Scary, dude. So scary. I hope I don't have a commercial coming up, because I ain't got it. But, I got my news. Y'all ready? 
Procter and Gamble is stepping up their efforts. P and G has been doing their thing for a minute, but they are really stepping up right now. So proud of them. They establish a whole new fund, Take On Race Fund. Initial contribution of five million dollars. More money is going into it, but it's just their initiative to really get this thing popping. Um, oh my God, y'all are hitting me up from everywhere, all over. What's up, UK? What's up, London? What's up, Africa? Hey, Ghana. Hey, Brazil. Where y'all at? Out here. Where y'all at? Mike, I know I got Mikey's whole face. Mikey got my face. I'm the mama. I thought, hey, Paris. I What I do love about New York is the Cuomo brothers, okay? Chris and Ann, they can come down here and run the this, this state, city, anytime. I love them Cuomo brothers, baby. Y'all got that. All right, here I go. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everybody. And remember, it's Wash Up Wednesday. I'm your girl, Eva Marcel, here with your top news stories. So a decision on whether charges will be filed against the officers involved in the shooting of Rashard Brooks could come as soon as today. Law enforcement officials, including some black officers, say that the shooting, although very tragic, was justified. Hmm, we're still questioning that. Also, there are plans for a protest today in Clayton County, Georgia, after police pulled a gun on several teenagers suspected of fighting outside of a store. So a video of the encounter with the police was posted on social media. The teens later admitted that they had been playing with a BB gun and the store of surveillance video showed the teens playing and tossing it around. In other news, five years ago today, Ricky, a white supremacist by the name of, and know his name, Dylan Roof, I say again, Dylan Roof, walked into a historical black church in Charleston, South Carolina, and killed nine people during Bible study. A memorial, a protest, and a march are scheduled in the city this week. Also, officials in Tulsa, Oklahoma, are pleading with President Trump to cancel his rally this weekend or to move it indoors. They are very concerned about the spread of the coronavirus, which is still very real all over. Florida, Texas, and Arizona just set daily records for the new coronavirus cases. And Texas Governor Greg Abbott is taking heat for blaming young people for the state's spike in new cases. Meanwhile, scientists in England believe that they have found the first drug shown to reduce coronavirus related deaths. It's a steroid called, and please forgive my pronunciation, dexamethasone, which can be found in many pharmacies and is very inexpensive. That was a quick look at your headline news. Rock T, tell me you got some juicy for me in sports. And that's my thing. And that's how I do my job, bro. That's the job. I'm like, Thank you. <laughs> My brother, my brother's downstairs getting coffee. He just woke up, y'all. I'm on live, and I pop shit, talk shit all day. But then he just, then I flip and turn the news, and he be like, "Hold on, wait, what happened in the news?" But you be having to let everybody know, keep it abreast, keep you abreast, not the breast. Keep your head out the gutter, y'all. It's early in the morning. Yes. Um, if you don't know, Juneteenth is Friday, June nineteenth. Don't forget it. It is our 4th of July. If you never celebrated it before, celebrate it now. If you don't know what it is, look it up. Teach your kids. I'm telling you one thing. My family, the Sterling House, the Sterlings, the Pickfords are getting it in. So if y'all ain't got no plans, use your real 4th of July for the day that we found out that we was really free everywhere, especially Texas, it was on June the 19th of 65. 1865, that is. All right. <laughs> 